What's up out there? Welcome back to some more hardcore combat only. This is episode 15. Now, um, you guys have been <laughs> giving me abuse and hell about the, the some of the stuff that I have. So I've corrected a few things. Um, I, I know I ran with the ice sword for a very long time. I did end up going and getting the dragon claws. I went and got those. Uh, and then I spent some time in the uh, deep sea place. What is it? The the deep sea ship and I got the sunset rapier that is now there and I also went and let it finish out and get the ancient sword which is one of the lowest drops in the game so this took a while to get but I now have that um, I spent some more quality time in the volcano as you can tell because I now have the ancient helmet um, plate body plate legs and the ancient shield and what I'm doing now is grinding out dragon bones so I can upgrade this shield I, I actually have a couple of these things um i figured i would try and give these to some of the other characters they do seven percent damage reduction i think the upgraded version is eight percent i don't know that i'm going to grind out that many more uh dragon bones i still need another thousand of these um but i had plenty of gold sitting there and i had to grind out a bunch of gold um but I've got all that, um, so I'm trying to get this thing upgraded for this shield. That way this gets 8% damage reduction. Uh, the reason I want this is I've been trying to go through, um, let's see, I've been trying to go through the Infernal Stronghold. I wanted to get at least one clear on that um, to get the cape, get the Infernal Cape. That gives me a little bit more damage reduction. And then I wanted to start going into the Air God Dungeon. I did dip into the Air God Dungeon for just a brief moment. I've got some air shards, but it got to the point where I was not going to... I didn't have this ancient gear at that time. I didn't have it upgraded at the time. Um, I mean, I had the better sword and all, but I really need the ancient gear. And I want to get that Infernal Cape if I can. Um, I've been through the Infernal Cape or Infernal... Stronghold. I've tried it two or three times now, but the end the the end boss there is just really strong, and I haven't quite had the gear for it. So that's why I'm going to try to get this shield, get another percent of damage reduction, and if I can get through that and get that cape, that means I can go through the Air God dungeon and get that and start gearing up my range guy. Um, I think I've got plenty of food. I should be good. A couple hundred thousand of those. I should be good for a little while at least. So if I can get this stuff and start idling the Air God Dungeon, I think I'll be able to start doing other things. Getting into the Water God Dungeon, get that idled out. Uh, we have Magic Level of 85. I did spend a little bit more time on this. So I've got Level 85, which I believe is the level you need for the air or the Water God gear. So um, should be good there. I should be able to start equipping that up. And I'm also at 98 Slayer, so I only have this little bit of bar left to finish um, before I'm Slayer's done. So Slayer and Prayer will be done fairly quickly. Eh, prayer, I keep running out of bones. Um, let's see. I don't think I have it. Nope. I already, I already used them all. So, trying to finish out all this, and we've only got like 10 days left in this event. Um, I don't really think i'm going to get into impending darkness i don't know that i'm even going to get through in, in, uh, into the mist my goal for this one in 10 days is to get through the air water earth and fire god dungeons i don't care if i, I don't if i die in the fire god because fire god's kind of brutal if i die in there so be it but i'm going to try to get at least through that I'll consider that a victory. Like, I don't know that I'll be able to get through into the mist and all this other stuff. I, I don't know. I just, I have no clue. I have no feel for it. But I do believe I can get through the Fire God dungeon at least and at least get that far. I think that's a pretty good, um, I don't know how long we've been doing this event, but I think that's a, you know, for hardcore combat only, I think that's a pretty good way to get through uh, or a pretty good distance to have gone i guess i don't know whatever you want to call it so that's what i'm working towards um i'm gonna work on these hard slayer tasks for the fierce devils because i need to get a fury of the elemental zodiacs i have various components of it um actually i don't even need amulets of torture do i i got plenty of those i need i need some of the other stuff man whatever i'm gonna fight those things anyway 
Uh, I do need to finish Slayer off. I've been running Slayer hard tasks. Uh, I did this. I, what I've been doing here is going into the shop, going into Slayer and buying these um, generous re resupplies here. Uh, those are great. They give you these sharks. So I've been using those as much as I can. And then I transferred that idea over into uh, internal suffering. Start doing that there too. That's a good way of getting um, a lot of health out of there. A lot of better health than I can get anyway. So that is where we are with this account. And that's what I think I'm going to do is get through these dungeons. If I can idle at least the air, water, and earth god... I don't know about the Earth God though, because that's going to be magic, and I don't have enough rune ma or runes for it. Uh, this one might be manual clears with my melee character. I'm not sure on that one. We'll see. Um, if I can get through it a couple of times, get a few pieces of gear, that's going to help out and make the melee character go that much better. The Fire God Dungeon is always the hard one because that one has some really solid DPS checks in there. Well, I shouldn't say DPS checks. There's some check points in there. Namely, the, I can't remember what it is, there's a melee guy towards the end of it, and if you can't, if you're not there to swap out to melee or magic, your range guy's just going to get trounced by him, and even then, the melee, melee on melee is still kind of sketchy, and then the end boss has got cataclysm and all that, so you really need to gear up out of the air god before you start worrying about that one. So, that's going to be my goal for this account. And to say that I was, I mean, it's been successful. I love this. And once this event is done, um, I, I'm going to see how the, the new content rolls out and see how that happens or how that works. Um, I've got my standard account going for it. Of course, I've still got my hardcore character going. Um, I think on my adventure account, I think I might just delete it and either start over or do something different. And if I do something different, it's going to be hardcore combat only. So, they're also coming out with mod support and stuff like that. So I want to see how the final game or the, I want to see how this expansion comes out before I decide what to do for a third character. I'm definitely doing standard. I'm definitely doing hardcore. Um, it's just whether I do a hardcore combat only, and I am almost sold on that. Well, I'm pretty well sold on it now, but I don't see any reason not to do it. And I'm hoping that we either get that as a game mode for the, the expansion or, we get a mod that does it like this where everything's locked out and you can play the game normally and go through the end and all that properly. So I'm hoping we get some kind of mod like that because I really want to do hardcore combat only just normal though, because I've really enjoyed this. I've had a blast playing with it. It's uh, and then there's even more, you can do hardcore combat only 12 slot or something like that, where you, you only keep the bank slots you get at the beginning so, meaning you can't buy bank slots or anything. So that's interesting too, because that you only get so many, um, so many slots to store things. You can't keep everything you get. So what you keep and what you swap out and all that becomes very difficult. And I don't know that I want to go to that extent just yet, but I might. I really do enjoy hardcore combat only, and I, I'm now that I'm kind of just getting into the end game on this. Um, were the events over you know what i mean like i got 10 days left to get a little bit more done and i don't know how much more i can get so at any rate um that will do it for this one we will catch you on the next one and hopefully we'll be a little bit further along take care